Hi everybody, um, it's been five months since my last video because I hate to say it to all of my Lyme friends out there, but I've been out living life and enjoying the holidays, enjoying um, all the years that I have to catch up on now because I'm feeling so much better um, since starting the hyperbaric chamber. A few updates, really great news that I got from my one year lab test results. Um, first and foremost, my co-infection Ehrlichiosis is now negative, which is huge. It was still positive in May, and now it's negative. A um, few other nice details were my C4A, which was at 64,000 when we tested in May, is now down to 58,000. My CD57 continued to rise. It was 23 in May, and it's 26 as of February. So my plan isn't to do any more lab testing until February of 2017. And the reason for that is because I'm feeling great and I just don't want to pay out of pocket and I don't want to charge my insurance company until um, my goal, which was at my two year mark. So I'll report again in next February what those results come out. So the other thing I want to touch on in this video is I think a year ago when I first started this journey, I didn't know if this was even going to work. We put ourselves out there and it was a big expense. I mean, it was over $12,000 for the setup. And so many times the line people have been let down. And so I just, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was still in a brain fog. So I just want to kind of clear up some things as far as what symptoms I had, what I have been diagnosed with prior to coming into this. And some of those, well, actually everything I can remember today was chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, asthma, chemical sensitivity, mold issues, heart palpitations, heart pain, nerve pain, migraines, gut issues, Raynaud's, the MTHFR gene mutation, Marcon's, decrease in eyesight, trouble with my teeth and gums, insomnia, brain fog, joint pain, muscle pain. Those are the ones just today that I could, could remember off the top of my head really quick. And I have to say that those symptoms are pretty much gone. Um, I'm still noticing that every now and then I'm getting, like the other day I had some heart palpitations and a little bit of dizziness, but I think that I'm still kicking um, Lyme out of my body. So I'm still expecting for the next year to have symptoms kind of coming and going, not on a daily basis, but every now and then, and I'm definitely not deterred by that at all. Um, I'm getting ready to go and do my second 5K down in Phoenix, Arizona next month, and really we have been super busy with holidays. November and December, we had um, a lot of people coming over. We visited with people, parties to attend, functions to do, and I lasted through everything. And then recently I had foot surgery and that has kind of kept me down a little bit. It's taken longer to heal than the doctor suspected. And he's definitely now a believer in Lyme disease. He said um, that this is not something that he's seen with any patients that have had foot surgery. Um, and so it's a little bit longer in healing time, so I know that there's still more recovery to do. And I'm on dive 441, I believe, is what I just finished this morning. So looking forward to continue diving. I will continue to give you updates and hopefully maybe in the fall make a second video with the activities that I've been doing this year. Thanks and see you next time.